All right, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny video. So, three days till Rise of Iron and the hype is real. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can prepare, get those legendary engrams, get that loot stacked up, ready for Rise of Iron so you can reach light levels really, really easy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below and obviously subscribe if you are new. And I'm also going to be doing a 7-7 Infinitum Emblem giveaway this video. All you have to do to enter is leave a like on the video and drop a comment down below telling me what you're looking forward to the most in Rise of Iron. So yeah, with that out the way, let's begin the video. So I recommend for this strategy, we're basically going to be farming legendary engrams. This also works good if you want a grasp of mala, but I have plenty, so I'm just doing this for legendary engrams. So what you will need, we we're running three hunters, but what I recommend you have is two hunters and one titan with insurmountable skull fort and the perk on the void defender tree which basically gives you orbs every time you get a melee when four spire is up this is so basically your titan is your orb maker and the hunters are the killers and obviously the two hunters will need celestial nighthawk and then after that you basically just need to go into the strike playlist and look for omnigal what i recommend is you can just back out and then keep searching back out if you don't find it but what we did was we kept playing until we found the strike just so we kept our strike buff the one that gives you more legendaries uh, the vanguard streak buff and I also recommend you have some of the infection buffs because apparently some of them increase your loot drops and some of them increase XP gained and so on and so on. And for a bonus, I recommend you find a ghost that gives you spin metal when you find engrams on earth. This will let you get a ton of spin metal. I have literally got like 700 spin metal now just from picking up engrams and it's really, really effective. So what you want to do is as soon as you get to the part where she starts to scream, Two of the hunters want to pop your golden gun, use your celestial nighthawk and kill her and she should drop engrams and then you basically go collect your loot and kill yourself and then whenever one of the hunters needs a super the titan will basically make orbs of light by using melee and the insurmountable skull fort will let you have two melee charges so you can basically just keep making orbs over and over again or you can just run three hunters and bad juju like we were doing and kill all the enemies with bad juju and generate your super black really really fast if you guys were watching my live stream you can see this is a very effective way to farm engrams and spin metal and you're probably wondering why do i want spin metal you can actually turn spin metal into faction vendors for xp and you can use that to get packages and it's really really good so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one this has been willis gaming and peace